Happy Disney Plus Day, everybody. Today is Disney Plus Day. We got a whole bunch of new content. The Pinocchio movie's out. I'm really excited to watch that. But we also have a brand new episode of Marvel Studios' She-Hulk Attorney at Law. So we got episode four here today. It's held, Is This Not Real Magic? This was a great episode, really fun episode. It doesn't really do much to move like the main storyline forward but it was still just a, a fun little episode here she hulk and of course if you haven't seen it yet then go check it out on disney plus spoiler warning if you haven't seen it yet but uh without further ado we're gonna jump into this and break down she hulk attorney at law episode four okay so our kind of villain of the week slash just case of the week is Donnie Blaze. So he was a he's a magician in LA and he is though using actual real mystic arts in his act and it's getting a little dangerous. You know, he uses a sling ring to send Madison with two N's, one Y, um, to Wong in Nepal. So that's when Wong kind of gets involved here, and then he has to go to Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, for help with this. When he uh, meets up with her, she's actually in the middle of setting up her matcher profile, which is basically Tinder. It's a dating pro uh, app in the MCU, apparently. So she sets up a profile on matcher. Not getting many matches, though. Uh, but then Wong shows up. He's like, you know, I need your help. This is, you know, far past the rules of the American laws. This... This is like the laws of time and space and the space-time continuum and all this stuff. So he's like, I need your help. So she starts making a case against him, and we do eventually get to a trial where, of course, Wong, he does have to bring in Madison, again, with two N's, one Y, in as a, a witness here. And Madison is just hilarious in this episode. She was such a funny character. Um, I absolutely loved her. I also love how... I mean, it's funny enough the way she does her name. Like, it took me long enough to figure out just how she spelt it with two N's and Y. So I was like, okay, where's the Y? And then they actually spelt it out for her. So that was pretty helpful. Uh, but then the, the funniest part for me was when she co comes in, she walks through the portal in the courtroom. She see, she sees Wong. She says, Wongers! Like, just every time, she, like, that, like her nickname for Wong, just, OMG Wongers! That was hilarious. I absolutely absolutely love that that was just so great and also donnie blaze's whole thing where like he's just like pulling up random magic tricks and he's got his hype man there and also his lawyer happens to be a, a, a magician as well so that was pretty funny and so the judge decides all right i'll give you a verdict in a couple weeks but until then mr donnie blaze you have permission to continue your your act and you can continue doing magic in la because, you know, it's his livelihood, making money and all that stuff. So that happens. And then Jen, she goes back to her dating profile game. Her matcher game, if you will. And so, like I said, things are not going well for her Jennifer Walters profile. So she takes Nikki's advice and makes a new pri profile for She-Hulk. Which is then where she gets a whole bunch of matches. It's just continuous, continuous uh, notifications about matches. Everybody wants to date She-Hulk, and, you know, you know, I've seen some of the reactions in real life online to uh, She-Hulk and her design, and th there's some horny people out there, so I'm not surprised. So she goes through a whole bunch of matches, one of which actually is a character we're going to be seeing pop up again in a future episode, um, who I believe is, he's been described on the show as like a Tony Stark wannabe and you could kind of get that vibe from him in this episode oh uh, but she ends up finding this guy who's like the perfect man like he's a doctor he listens he's just wants to know about her he doesn't talk too much about himself and she all thinks he's super hot and attractive so he's she's like oh this is the perfect guy and just this things start going really well and you know they're about to start doing stuff, having some fun, if you know what I mean, then, of course, things go wrong. Because meanwhile, Donnie Blaze is continuing his act in LA. He is continuing to do his magic. He's doing the same old thing with the, the portal. And then you have some other, um, a similar volunteer from the audience, similar to Madison here. And she doesn't want to go through the portal. So he's like, all right, let, let's try something else. So he makes a dove appear, which, you know, that's cool and everything. But then that dove ends up laying an egg on her hand which then that egg hatches into this little uh 
demon bat baby thing. And then he somehow opens up a portal that just unleashes a whole army of them. So you have a whole army of these demon flying bat baby things. And it's um, it's not good to say the least. So he himself goes to Wong for help. And Wong then goes to She-Hulk for help. Which of course he comes in right in uh, on the middle of uh, stuff happening. And really ruins the moment for there for She-Hulk. But she's like, uh, don't worry, I'll be right back. Um, so they end up going. She-Hulk, you know, we get a really cool team-up scene here between She-Hulk and Wong. Taking down these demon bat babies. And it was pretty cool, actually, how um, originally in the trailer when we saw that there was going to be a character named Donnie Blaze. Uh, yeah, Donnie Blaze. We thought it was going to be Johnny Blaze, a.k.a. Ghost Rider. Obviously, it's not. Uh, but I do like how when Wong is doing his magic, he has... um you know, his chain of magic that almost looks like Ghost Rider Whip. So I, I did think that was a pretty cool reference. But anyway, they end up saving the day. They take them down. They get uh, Donnie Blaze and his uh, hype man to agree to the cease and desist. So, you know, superhero mode, day saved. Good job. Work well done. So she gets back to her date. And as soon as she gets back, she picks up that guy and carries him to the bedroom. And you can exactly infer what happened that night but then the next morning they wake up she is no longer in she hulk form she's in gen form and he's super confused about like oh who are you and so she explains and he's like oh, oh okay then and he leaves so apparently he was only into she hulk not gen so that was kind of disappointing um for her but but then after this actually things get even worse because then we do get a little bit of setup for um kind of the future of this show um the main storyline going on here we're actually almost halfway through the the season um where she gets a warrant I believe it was where basically Titania the character we saw in the first episode played by Jamila Jamil that She Hulk took down in the courtroom she is now suing She Hulk or Jennifer Walters for the name she because supposedly she trademarked it she was the one that came up with it um i thought it was the guy on the news that came up with it that we saw in like episode two but apparently titania did so i don't know exactly how that works but um it is cool that we're gonna be getting titania back in here i think jamila jamil is a great actress so i'm really excited to see her uh to hopefully take on a bigger role here considering she's supposed to be the main villain of this show and of course, Jen with her fourth wall break and she says like, oh, this is a really uh, depressing moment to end the episode on. Hopefully we get a cool stinger. And we do our nice little post credit scene. There's a funny scene here between Wong or Wongers and Madison with two N's and a Y. Um, once again, they're watching The Sopranos, talking about drinks. Uh, we did have a moment early in the episode when Wong was dancing. So just the interactions between these two were hilarious. Madison was hilarious. And I do hope that we get to see more of her in future episodes. But guys, that was it. That was Marvel Studios She-Hulk Attorney Law Episode 4 on Disney+. Plus. It, it was a good episode. Again, didn't really further the main storyline along too much. I mean, we got the little bit of setup at the end. But for the most part, just a fun little episode. That's the cool thing about having a nine-episode season here. Instead of just sticking to the six-episode formula and feeling super rushed. Is this, you know, we can take our time and do some one-off kind of filler type episodes like this and I really enjoyed I really enjoyed this episode and I'm really excited to see uh where we go from here in episode five uh but anyways guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below what did you think about She-Hulk episode four where do you think things are going the rest of the season and what do you plan to watch for Disney plus day so anyways guys thanks so much for watching please drop a give enjoy this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life